With the federal government proposing to reopen the land borders, the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria has argued for the review of the decision in line with the demand of the economy and the core objective of the African Continent of Free Trade Agreements, the AFC FTA protocol, which is premised on liberalization of intra-regional trade in Africa. Man noted that the export group of the association had suffered huge losses due to the logistics issued and occasioned by the closure as it takes an average of eight weeks for the carriers to ship and truck goods within countries in the same region. Vis-a-vis -vis the trucking through the land border, which takes an average of seven to ten days. The producers added that the increased traffic through the local seaport as a result of the closure has increased the perennial congestion at the Apapa and Tinkan Island ports leading to greater challenges to exporters and increased demerit costs and other port levies. Man President Mansour Ahmad, in the association's position on the reopening of land borders, stated that some manufacturers use export as the main business to neighboring African countries are to close down the export segment due to the closure were encouraged and they discouraged long-term investment and affected the economy. Man, however, advocated the holistic approach that would address the root cause of the problem and provide mutually reinforcing solutions rather than a border closure that is not sustainable for now.